Hello guys, welcome again to another edition of your everyday web and software tips. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can link your Google sites to your custom domain. So let me show you what I mean. Now, if you create um, a Google site website, normally you would have the website URL read as sites.google.com forward slash view, then your business name follows. But for most people, maybe you want you don't want this URL. You want it to read like your your website URL. So let's just say if your website, if your business name is Spa, you want it to read as www.spa.com. So you want to connect your custom domain that you bought from a third party and then link it up to your Google site. This is how you go about it. So first off, you go to where you have your Google site. You open the dashboard, click on the settings page. Now you go to custom domains. So make your site easier to remember with a custom domain like www.yourdomain.com. That is the name, the domain that you bought. So to link it up, you just go to start setup. Enter the domain that you want to connect to this um, Google site. Now it says the domain is not verified. So now what we need to do is verify this domain. So now we click on verify your ownership now when you do that um, the web central page would actually give you a txt record that we need to add to our domain for our domain to be verified by google so just copy the txt record now i bought suppose i bought my domain name from namecheap and um, if you want affordable um, domains to buy I'll leave a link in the description below. They have been using this um, platform for quite some time now. You can get domain names for um, affordable and very low prices. So you can check the link in the description below. Now going on with the, with the tutorial. Now once we are in our dashboard, make sure that going back to our um, Webmaster Central, make sure that your domain name provider You've selected your domain name provider here. So if you bought it from GoDaddy or from any other domain name, if it's listed here, make sure um, you check that um, respective um, domain name provider. So mine is namecheap.com. So let's copy uh, your the text, the txt record. Go back to our domain list. Now you can see I have a list of domains in here. So when I go to domain list. You can see I have a number of them here. So this is the domain that I want to connect my Google sites with. So going here, I need to change the DNS records. So I have to go to advanced DNS. So when you get here now, add a new, go to add new record under hosting records and look for TXT record. So now this is where you type, you paste your the txt record and then at the host section you just put the at symbol there and click on save changes now another um, record that we need to change is the c name record so if you don't have the c name any c name record here make sure you add one to it so for the c name record just go to add new record go to c name record and for the so for the C name record, at the host you put in www dot or www three w's. The target has to be ghs dot google dot com, and leave the TTL also as automatic. And then you click on save changes. Now, now another record you need to add is the URL redirect. So just click on add new record again. And then search for URL redirect for the host. The host is the same at for the destination URL. You need to type in HTTP colon forward slash www dot your the name of your domain dot tld, and then you just click on save changes. So once this is done, your verification will take between an hour. Uh, maximum of an hour for it to be verified so if you go back to your 
Google site and then you type in the URL, um, the domain name again, you see it's, it's still not verified, but you have to take your time, it will, it will verify um, before you know it. So this is how you connect your Google site to your custom domain. Um, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you are returning, please also like the video and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos that I'll, I'll be uploading. Thank you very much for joining and I hope to see you in the next video.